come to Easy Elim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on the topic uh, trigonometric ratios and our subtopic today is applications of uh, trigonometric ratios that is bearing. So we are going to take all the concepts that you have been learning on third term uh, cosine and sine and then we are going to match them into the concept of bearing. Bearing was discussed a little bit in form one. So today we are going to do like the trigonometric ratios now applied in bearing. So we're going to start off uh, by looking at bearings. So bearings are used in navigation. A bearing is an angle measurement used to describe precisely the direction of one location from a given re reference point. And uh, the three figure bearings also refer to as bearing, true bearings. So we are going to be using true bearings in this case. Use angles from 0, 0, 0 degrees to 360 to show the amount of turning measured clockwise from north. So you notice that always you always write those digits into three digits since you'll be using the true bearing. So remember, we always be moving uh, clockwise from north. And remember this totals to 90, 90, 90, 90. So it keeps on adding as you move clockwise up to you come back north again in, in a clockwise direction. So let's do first of all some basic uh, calculation and then we go to um, the application bit now. So if you were to look for the bearing of B from A, you remember we said when you are looking at the bearing, we start from north, we move clockwise, so we need to get this angle up to here. So the first thing that you notice, the angle from here to here is 90 degrees, and then from the angle from here to here is 90 in total, but remember our B is starting in this small angle. So we are going to say 90 You say 90 minus 38 so that we can see this angle uh, that is in between A and B. So when we say 90 minus 38, we get 52. So this is 52. And remember, this is 90. So we are going to say 90 plus 52 to give us 142. So the whole of this angle is 142. So it is 142 in a clockwise direction. So the a bearing of B from A is 142 degrees. Look at this, the same applies also. So this is uh, 90, 90 plus 90, 180, 180 plus 45. So you're going to do 180 plus 45, you get 225. So this angle from here going this way is 225. So you're going to say it is 225 degrees. And then the next is uh, this, so we have 180, and then 180 plus another 90. So you're going to say 180 uh, plus 90, and then you add also 45 that you can see. So 180 plus uh, 90 plus 45, you said you add this 90, you add this 90 and then you add this 90 and then the 45 so that gives us 315 so this whole angle up to here is 315 so it's the bearing is 315 degrees uh, let's do this one so um so this is going to be 90 this 90 plus 90 this one plus 90 this one and then we need to get this difference and we can get that difference by 90 minus 25. Let's get the difference first. So 90 minus 25 gives us 65. So this is the 65 we add to this combination. So 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 65 will give us 335. So this angle from here to here is 3. 35 and we have this so this is 90 180 so 180 plus 90 gives us 270 so this is 270 
So if we get the difference, remember the whole of this angle is 90, but we have 50 here. So the remaining is going to be 40. So it is 270 plus 40, which gives us 310. So this whole angle up to this line is 310, and that is our bearing. So you see how the bearing works. Uh, we move from north clockwise. We count up to where the line for B uh, starts from. So if you were to look at this, another example before we go to the calculation, so the bearing of A from B is 0, 0,65 degrees. So the bearing of A from B, so you start from B. So whenever you have that specific point, so this point that is the north, and then you start from north, this is 0, and then it is up to 65. So it doesn't fully cover up to 90. So it's going to be around there, 65 degrees. And then since we, are not, we have not been given the distance, this is going to be A. It's just a, an example of what we are working on. So if you were calculating the bearing, so if you were to look at the bearing, that's how it would look like, for example. If you were, remember this angle and this angle are equal, so this is 65. If you were to look for the bearing of B, because this is our B from A, we want this angle that goes back. So we want 90, this 90, plus 90, this 90, and then plus this 65 we have just added. So that is going to be 180 plus 65, which is going to give us 245 degrees. So let's look at one example that is in application to trigonometric ratios. So three times AQR are such that Q is 150 kilometers from P on a bearing of zero, uh, 43 degrees. The bearing of R from P is 133 degrees and the bearing of R from Q is 160. Calculate the distance of R from P and Q from P, Q from R, and the bearing of P from R. So first of all, let's do a sketch of how the towns look like. So the first thing we have been told is that uh, Q and R are such, Q is 150 kilometers from P and on a bearing of 43 degrees. So we start with P, we put our P here. So 43 is around here. So this is 43. This is our P, and the distance is 150 kilometers. So when we get to point P, this is how it looks like. Remember, this is 43 as well. Just because of the, the angles, how they are in uh, the line. Uh, and then you have been told the bearing of R from P, this is still P is 133. So we move 133 from here. So 90, so let's see uh, 133 minus 90 will give us 43. So 133 will be here. This is 43. So if you look at this angle inside here, it's actually a 90 degrees. Because when you look at 133 minus 43, you get 90. So this is like a 90 degrees. But the whole angle from north is 133 up to here. Let's not forget. So it goes down. We don't know the distance. And then the bearing of R from P is 133. So let's put our R here. is going to be our R. Remember if uh, this is 43, this is also going to be 43. All right, and then uh, the bearing of R from Q is 160. So we are going to move 160. Remember all of this is 180, so 160 is going to be around there. So this is 160. So 160 minus what? This is 20. So this is how it's going to look like. So let's change this a bit. Let's change the R where it is so that you can accommodate this line we've added. So when we bring this line and this line, remember it has sketch. 
in the moment. So this is going to be our R. So remember this angle we said is 43 because this angle here is 43. And then remember this is 20. So this angle here is 20 as well. So if this is 20, this is 43. This tells you, and remember from here to here is 90. So it's 63 minus 90 minus 63 which gives us 27. So the angle in between here is 27. And so we have been told to look for the uh, distance of R from P. So we are looking for this, I'll call it X and Q. This is Q from R and I will call this one Y and the bearing of P from R. So we are looking for this bearing up to here. So the, the bearing from P from to R is quick, we can do that one. So this is 270 up to 43, so it is 270 plus 43, which gives us 313 degrees. So let's do the calculation. So this is how it looks like. Remember we said this is a 90 degrees. So we have P here, we have Q, and we have R. This is 150. This is the 90, the 90 degrees, this is 27, and this is 45 plus 20, which gives us 63. So we are looking for x and y. So we start with x first, we use this angle 63, so it's going to be tan 63 degrees is equal to opposite, which is x over 150. So we multiply by 150, multiply by 150, you get x is 150 tan 63. You can use logarithm or you can keep this indirectly in your calculator. So when you get tan 63 from your tables, it's going to be 1.9626. 150 times 1.9626 gives us 294.34. Remember it's kilometers. So we have the value of x. If you want to get y, still using 63, it's going to be now adjacent of a hypotenuse. So it's cos. So cos of 63 is equal to adjacent, which is 150, over y. So we multiply by y this side, by y. So it's y cos 63 is equal to 150. You divide by cos. 63 divided by cos 63. Remember it's degrees. So this and this cancels. So we have y is equals to 150 over cos 63. Still you can work this out using the um, logarithm tables or you can just key in, in the calculator using the tables. So this is the same as 150. Cos 63 from the mathematical tables gives us 0. 4540. So if you do this division, you get 330.4 kilometers. So we have the distance, this 330, this is the distance between Q and R, and then we have this distance between P, P and Q, and then we have also the bearing. So we have answered that question. So that brings us to the end. Uh, check out more revision questions on bearing in relation to the trigonometric ratios we have discussed in the app and also more notes on this. So see you in the next lesson.